building and filming a ton in Oasis Springs and Evergreen Harbor. I've got lots of builds lined up for y'all and you'll see them soon. But I think I wanted a bit of a break from those worlds. And I was inspired by my maximalist tiny home build, which was very much a spur of the moment build I did in Brightchester, inspired by the new Decor to the Max kit. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it at the end so you can head over there later. But for that build, I made a little conservatory with the new industrial arched windows in red and the columns and paneled wallpaper from Discovery University in the matching reds too. And I wanted to do something similar, so I felt it was time that Pepper's Pub got the upgrade the students deserved. So Pepper is going green. Um, a bar near the university I went to was fully decorated with lots of plants like they had a whole aqueduct system that you could see in the ceiling and there were lots of plants hanging around and above the tables so i was going for that kind of planty vibe and the past couple of weeks my partner has been on a business trip around the uk and ireland and i've been tagging along as a freeloader but we went to a couple of plant themed restaurants and they were so pretty like they had leafy wallpapers lots of plant themed artworks and obviously lots of plants themselves. One of the restaurants we went to was called The Ivy. I think it might actually be a franchise in the UK. But at the one we went to in Cardiff, on the second floor there was a massive decorative tree in the middle of the room. And we were dining underneath it. I wanted to do something similar by sizing up that little potted tree that came with the Blooming Rooms kit. But it didn't end up working out because I didn't have enough space. So we might try that again in another build. What did end up working really well in this build, though, was the new wainscoting that came with the Decor to the Max kit. So in my tiny Maximal home build, I used the wainscoting as a frame for the tall spa day mirror, and I popped that combo above the fireplace, and I loved it so much and was so excited to use the wainscoting in a bunch of different ways, so I'm really happy that I got to play around with it in this build. Um, like, you can see it. I did the mirror trick again along the wall there, and later I used them for windows, and I can't get over how cool they turned out. Even though I don't agree with how the kits are priced, I am definitely getting my money's worth with this kit. I use it like a bunch to upgrade Pepper's Pub. Yeah, so I've been traveling a lot, and this whole trip was very last minute, and it came about as I was just starting this YouTube channel. So my plan was, or it still is, um, to upload two videos a week. One on Mondays and one on Fridays as I sort out this new YouTube thing. Maybe when I figure out how to better make the videos, uh, I can upload daily. Um, and with this last minute trip, I've been having a harder time sorting things out and just kind of uploading when I have the time. So thanks so much for being so patient with me. I promise builds will come out more timely once I've settled in. I do hope you are enjoying them so far and yeah, I'd love to hear what kind of builds you're interested in. I definitely want to try new things, so if you have any ideas or requests, definitely let me know in the comments. Oh, speaking of which, in my last video, um, Thurple's Sunny Apartment, that's what it's called, someone recommended that I speak into the microphone more, so I'm giving that a go in this recording. I don't know if you can tell. I'm currently using the microphone on my earbuds to record the voiceovers. They're not the best quality, so... Hopefully this technique is helping a bit. Let me know if there are like any other adjustments I can make. I'm trying to save up for a proper microphone, but till then I'm going to play around with this one if that's okay with y'all. Yeah, thanks so much to Hollywood Bennett for sharing that tip with me. Um, yeah, so just like <laughs> any of my other builds, I can't make up my mind about the colorway and the organization of the space. I probably change up the wallpapers on the first floor like 20 or so times, I do edit out most of my visible indecision to spare y'all from that chaos. But as per usual, I try to leave a little bit in so you can still see the other possible combinations that look good in the space and give y'all alternative ideas if the final layout doesn't suit your fancy. And so you can change it up when or if you download this build. Oh, you know when you have stairs and you want to put one wallpaper on the first floor and it's different one on the second floor and the two different wallpapers sort of awkwardly touch in the middle of the stairs if that does bother you i think adding wainscoting can help with that and give a bit of separation to the two wallpapers 
Likewise, with any wallpapers that have the built-in paneling, um, and it sort of interrupts the flow of the wallpaper, like, you know what I mean? Like, you want seamless wallpaper going from the first to second floor, but the paneling that's already on the wallpaper makes it weird in the middle of the stairs. I think adding the wainscoting can make that separation more intentional and maybe look better. I tried it here, and though this time I end up adding the mirrors, I think it looks pretty good because it hides the fake paneling. Um, yeah, and there I am using the wainscoting again for windows this time and changing up the first floor wallpaper for the umpteenth time. Um, there ends up being a lot of green on green. Like lately, I've been really into the tone on tone, um, as you might have noticed, and I do it even more on the second floor. Yeah, I end up bringing up the wainscoting window frames from the second or to the second floor rather and yeah oh and I put a second bar there um, as you'll see in a bit actually I think it's like the third bar it's the second like actual bar but there is a small bar by the entrance that I use as like the host's desk um, where they have a computer set up to do whatever they do on the computer. Um, so it's not really a bar, but when you play in this build, the bartender will set up shop at that small bar by the entrance, which I guess works better for you because your sims get to play around with the two much nicer, much bigger bars. Um, the pub will be busier at the entrance because of that, but folks outside will just think that Pepper's Pub is poppin' and the new hub of Brightchester. Um, yeah, this is a whole marketing scheme to drive in business. Um, oh, the second floor bar comes equipped with a kitchen, so you can also have food as you might in a real bar, which makes it a bit more, like, realistic. Um, what's not realistic is having one bathroom in here, which I do, yep. Uh, I have three bars, but one bathroom, which is not the ideal ratio of bars to bathroom, especially given how much people drink and would probably need to use the bathroom. What we prioritize here at Pepper's Pub is drinking, and we make that very obvious to all our patrons. We do have some lovely bushes outside that our guests are more than welcome to, but yeah, three bars, one bathroom, it's totally fine, um, yeah. In my experience, when you have multiple bars in a lot and only one that you are using as something else that's not the bar, the NPC bartender will always pick that one to bartend. Like, I built a little town um, in Willow Creek that was a multifunctional lot, and I had three bars on one lot and also a huge townhouse. In one of the townhouses, I put in a bar. And when I was in game, the bartender didn't choose, you know, the cool, moody, traditional pub or the industrial brewery or even the underground board game bar to work at. Yes, they chose to serve drinks in the basement of one of those townhouses. Um, maybe I should have learned my lesson, but nah, <laughs> the bar is so pretty and it's like perfect as the front desk. Um, it just fits the vibe of the pub so perfectly. And the second floor is so open with the large windows, and so I tried to make it a little cozier by creating these little niches with the columns and spandrels. Um, our spot at the Ivy restaurant was also kind of like that. I sat on one of those curved couches by a big window, and Brightchester is so pretty. It's, it's nice to give diners a nice view as they eat, you know? Yeah, so... You know, this layout ends up being the bones of the pub, and so I think I'm going to sign off and just let you enjoy the rest of the build with some nice copyright-free music instead of my voice. Um, so if you'd like to download this build, it'll be on the gallery under my origin ID, Builds with Coffee. That's all lowercase, no spaces. And if you like this build, you can subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for being patient with me, and I will see you on Friday, fingers crossed, or next week because we are flying to, to um, oh, Georgia this weekend for more work things. Um, okay, have fun. Check out the screenshots and bloopies at the end, and bye! <laughs>